Good morning, readers, and welcome to a beautiful day on Wednesday. I'm Thomas. I'm Joseph. And I'm Jasmine. And here are your daily announcements. Student of the Month. Congratulations to the following students for being selected as Sydney High School Students of the Month for September. 9th grade, Katie Gilmore. 10th grade, Julia Evertson. 11th grade, Calista Bowen. 12th grade, Neva Montoya. Homecoming. Celebrate by taking part in the homecoming dress-up days. Tomorrow, teachers dress like students, students dress like teachers. Friday, Raider Day, the full agenda for this week's activities have been displayed in the Commons. Students, this is a reminder that if you want to attend the homecoming dance on Saturday night, you must turn in a consent to drug test form. Nebraska Wesleyan University will have a representative in the guidance office tomorrow morning at 8.30. Please stop by the guidance office for a pass if you are interested in visiting with her. School conferences. Next week we will have 2 p.m. dismissals on both Wednesday, October 21st and Thursday, October 22nd. Early out bell schedules will run accordingly. Conferences will be held in the Commons both of these nights from 4 to 7 p.m. There will be no school on Friday, October 23rd. Seniors. Reminded to turn in baby pictures to the guidance office by Friday. Juniors and seniors, a Navy recruiter from the Navy will be here Friday at 1 o'clock. If you would like to attend, come to the guidance office for a pass. Students, if you signed up to take the PSAT or the ASVAB, please report to your test location before 8 a.m. Homecoming candidates, the following students need to meet with Mr. Brockhouse on Friday at the football field at 7.45 a.m. Emily Marr, Abby Heller, Jasmine Jallen, Hunter Seacrest, Ryan Berner, and Tyler Winholtz. Seniors, the University of Wyoming is offering a free application processing fee to seniors until October 15th. If you are going to apply to UW, you are encouraged to do so before the 15th. FCS, think a coffee shop in the media center would be awesome? So do we. The FCS foods class is taking a survey. We are waiting for your response. Find the survey link in your Raider Mail account and vote today. And sports, state golf. Girls Golf placed third as a team with a score of 733, just six strokes back of Scotts Bluff. The Lady Raiders also had three girls that medaled individually. Congrats to Rachel Blauer, who tied for fifth with a 171, Emma Alexander, who was 13th with a 180, and Megan Neal, who tied for 15th with a 182. Also tomorrow, cross-country districts in Ovalala at three. The team is dismissed at 12.05, leaving at 12.30. Good luck, Raider Runners. Tomorrow night, freshman volleyball triangular versus Alliance in Ogallala at home starting at 4 o'clock. Dismiss at 3.10. Friday, homecoming football versus Alliance starting at 7. Homecoming king and queen will be crowned at halftime. Saturday, homecoming dance in the Commons. And some notes for homecoming. Homecoming dance tickets will go on sale during the lunches this week cost is four dollars you will need to sign up your date as you purchase your ticket and what to wear ladies dress or nice pants suit gentlemen nice pants polo tie dress shirt no jeans t-shirts or anything of the sort the, all, the out of school dates must also follow these guidelines if jeans or t-shirts are worn you will be asked to leave and change once you leave the dance you cannot return Dances from 9 p.m. to midnight in the, eight, in the high school commons area. Please enter through the West High School doors from the high school parking lot. Those will be the only doors used. T-shirts or anything of the sort. High school, oh. High school lunch. Tacos, Raider nachos, spicy chicken wrap, refried beans, mandarin oranges, and milk. The more you know, how much water is in a human body made out of. Up to 60% of the human body is water, according to H.H. Mitchell Journal of Bio Biological Chemistry 158. The brain and heart are composed of 73% water and the lungs are about 83% water. The skin contains 64% water. Muscles and kidneys are 79% and even the bones are watery, 31%. Hmm. That's interesting. And now over to Jasmine. Hi, Raiders. I'm Jasmine. I'll be giving you your world news. 
Israeli forces shut down access to some Palestinian neighborhoods in East Jerusalem on Wednesday by setting up more checkpoints and putting more police on the streets, a reaction to a spike in violence across Israel and the Palestinian territories in recent days. Israel's response followed a bloody day of attacks that, carried out, that was carried out by men that Israeli authorities say have ties to Palestinian terrorist groups. Next, the U.S. and Russia are to hold new talks on air safety in Syria after emerged combat aircraft from both nations came within miles of each other on Saturday. The talks come after U.S. military spokesman Cole Steve Warren told reporters that two U.S. and two Russian aircraft entered the same battle space over Syria on Saturday. He said the aircrafts were in visual contact with each other. Good luck sorting this map out. You'd have a better chance finding Waldo. Five years ago, the San Jose mine near Copiapo, Chile, collapsed, trapping 33 miners, and it quickly became an international news. More than 2,300 feet below the ground, the miners were battling starvation and trying to cling to faith, hope, and anything else to keep them alive. To beat the odds, the miners divided what little rations they had. Cans of tuna split 33 ways, cookies and greasy water intended to cool the mining equipment. It wasn't until after numerous attempts that the world leaned or learned the men were alive when drilling tool emerged from the deep with a note attached to it, saying that all 33 men were still somehow alive. Now, five years later, many struggle with the psychological scars of their entrapment, and some even have trouble holding down a job. Well, that's all I have for you today, and back over to you guys. That was interesting. 77% of water. That's interesting. Something to think about. I'm Thomas. I'm Joseph. And see you guys later.